Hello everybody, welcome to Let's Play Dragon Alliance 2. So in the last episode, finally we Mercs decided that the preparation has been going long enough and um, I uh, sent them toward the Duna and to try um, whether we can actually secure the road between Grom and Meduna so we can use this as a supply line as we um, knock on the front door to this capital city and it's um, really well defended. Um, Orta, these guys uh, have already defended and then I think they did some kind of inventory management but as you can see there are a lot more to be done which is uh, what this episode is going to be about I guess uh, and also we sent the rest of the group toward Samona to drop up some of the things that we carried over from Orta and um, yeah so I think I need to organize this a bit and just uh, yeah take all these things out first so this is what we have and then i think we need to do some inventory management and um, in the last episode also i thought that maybe it'd be a good idea to station these mercs here at the secret facility because the enemy apparently uh, sends periodically the patrol or the infiltration unit composed of some elite guys and this has proven to be a pretty uh, good defensive spot for the mercs who was able to defeat them defeat like two patrol groups or two infiltration groups so far which led us some um, not an insignificant amount of items and some of them are pretty um, variable commodities so i thought maybe i could uh, try to um, stay here for a while and then uh, you know farm these trolls so to speak well, I thought a bit more on that uh, as I was uh, going through the last episode and and I thought that maybe um, that was not a good idea because because most of the times these mercs uh, who I'm paying pretty high price for in certain cases like Yigi for example should be actually be actively involved in the the greater fight against Meduna. The last fight here when we met the 11 man patrol was a successful one but we got uh, one of our mercs seriously hurt grunty got hurt and now he's being looked over by vince but then these two guys will be more or less uh, occupied for the next fight further down the road toward meduna so uh, these guys should be involved as well as a sort of a reserve or not reserve i guess but to try to help on this side of the i guess mainland uh, because you cannot cross between these two sectors because there's a body of water yeah so i guess i need to take the seven men merc eventually out of orta go into the swamp and then fight their way try to match this um, guy's progress sector by sector and then eventually team up here on the outskirts to the airport and then just go you know, all hands on deck you know full bore to capture this really really important spot then it's going to open up uh, an entirely new opportunity for us like you know ordering Bobby Rays delivered right here I think it can also hire some uh, militia we can employ mercenaries to occupy this um, sector to defend and i think it's not going to be that different from how militia works but the thing is that you have to pay like many times the training fee so there's yeah, a couple of ways to really put a flag here They're involving your know, mercenaries hiring different mercenaries but it is possible and then in order to do that i think we need to really get all of these guys involved so eventually i take these guys out but not before we do some inventory management um, yeah, so these guys already have brought items out of the facility, but now they have to do it again because, you know, there was a battle. Yeah, but I don't think it's going to be too difficult. I mean, there are some guys I especially earmark for transporting stuff out and, you know, they have like a bags here that can be used. But let me see if I can find a better guy to do it because uh, Iggy... Um, already has a lot of stuff we didn't get to drop it uh, and yeah 
aim goes for a bonus. Elio can Elio forgot to drop his stuff, I guess, but he can still carry some more. Let me see if I can give him this backpack so that the storage space is increased. And Larry can probably carry this. Under 6%, I think it's okay. I mean I cannot carry everything out, but I can probably carry some valuable guns so that the Hummer group can come in and then transport these things back to that Mona. Um, but if you're pressed for time, then you know I just just get on with it and use a Hummer to travel farther down toward Meduna itself. All right, so we have Canteen here, and I think everybody here has Canteen. Yeah, everybody has Canteen here. We can probably carry an extra and mine and all this stuff. Yeah, I mean we have a lot of different stuff that we need to carry out. So everybody will be a bit overburdened. Okay, so I, I don't think I need to... Well, I guess I can carry the team's backpack here. Um, maybe not. Maybe this is for radio. Yeah. Let's see how the backpack looks. So this is the backpack that Buns is carrying, and this is the same backpack. So I guess it provides some nice space. Yeah, so we carry this. And also this. Are oh, we at 94%? So I guess we cannot really carry the machine guns out. Unless we uh, decide to drop some things in favor of more um, variable stuff that we can carry out. And the good thing about this is even if you're not directly involved in battle, um, we can use um, Iggy and yeah, I think more or less Iggy. To use his commando motor. Maybe it's not commando motor that allows you to um, order artillery strike from up sector. I think you need to carry that big mortar M229 or something in order to do that. Yeah. Well, I mean, we'll see what happens. 115% is probably the maximum that I can put on this guy. And probably take some of these things off. 108% is definitely doable, but who's going to carry these then? In his backpack. This guy? Under 16? Well, um... The thing is, uh, not only do we have to carry these kind of stuff so that these guys will be burdened, we need to cross from the jungle into the swamp, which is probably the worst kind of travel that there is in this game. And then uh, I think it's going to really knock these guys out very very fast yeah I guess this is probably testing the limit when you want to sell weapons I might as well sell rocket rifle it's um, definitely more expensive yeah okay so We have a lot of gas masks too. And medical kit could be useful. And Elio's done. Iggy can carry a lot more, so maybe I can give instead of... Well, I can maybe... Um, give the back here to Iggy. 110% now, and... Elio can carry this instead, on the top percent. A bit better. Yeah, I think it's a bit better. And we carry all the mines. I don't know whether mine is going to be that useful, but I mean, it's something that I can carry and sell, possibly. All right, so we need that ammo, 7.62. Okay. I guess you can carry a gun here, 105%, that's not bad. And 107%, okay, skip that. And here, you can carry another gun. See if I can carry this. Under 8%, all right. Under 11%, sure. I guess I can deal with that. Under 16%. Yeah. I guess this might work. 
And then 19% for Iggy. I guess it's a bit too heavy. Um, can the medical bag be stacked? I'm not so sure. Nope. I can do this instead. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. Yeah. Buns may be able to make use of the gear gas because she has the she has the attachment that can make use of it. All right, back to Igor. Under twenty five percent. Now, sorry about keep getting out of the screen here. Um, yeah, I did not bother. Just carry this instead more valuable and i think that's it okay so 7.62 times 39 i'm not going to carry it because we have uh, tons of ammo probably based on 7.62 so i leave that organize once again this might kind of want to bring this as well but right now i think we need to just begin to move so there are a lot of good ammo here, especially the sniper ammo. It can go into also into machine gun. Tear gas grenade for Russian green launchers. Some Dyneema helmet could be very useful. Let me see how what condition these are in. So this is apparently the best of the bunch. Offer 6% protection. Let's see if there's something that I can replace with. 10%. Yeah, I think Twilight Helmet can go. Continues. Goggle. And I sell all these. Let me just check the rest of the guys. 8%. Right. 5%. Okay, there's some better ones here. Yeah. I guess I didn't really get to fix this. I need my helmet. I need 8%, 75%, so it gives 75% one to bonus. Vector helmet is a um, similar amount of defense. Vector vest, not really good. We have a pretty good condition. Twaron leggings and the gas mask. Okay, gas mask might be useful, but I can only probably carry these 89% one to be effective. Deterrent against mustard gas and all that. And this guy can carry it. Yep, yeah, he can probably handle that under 12%. It's going to take a long time, but I think it's fine. And finally, the grenades. Alright, let's see if we can carry this any available spot for it I don't see it actual full okay I think we are done I sell all this going to add up um, well I mean it's not made much of a difference but I guess I can get the perfect, perfect patch going here. And sell all this, sell this, and yeah, I mean, I don't know whether the enemy is going to pick up the ammo. They might pick up some guns and grenade launchers and all that, but I think the ammo thing and I just leave it be okay so we've basically done a quick inventory management we sold some of the stuff and gained some money back although it's not that much I want to try something before I go out of Orta though it's not really uh, important but this is something I wanted to try all right so somebody's uh... yeah I think Igor can do it I just wanted to try it I think I mentioned um, Good. a few episodes back, I wanted to do something here. 
try something in the basement of the facility. We just go inside here. Yeah, basement where there are a lot of different uh, interesting stuff. One of which is what looks like an atomic bomb. Good. Yeah, the what do you call it? The fat man, the little boy or little child. I don't know. But yeah, I was wondering whether I can shoot this thing and then make it explode. And whether it's going to end the game. Maybe spell the end of this LP. Because uh, it's gone long enough. So I mean, if it ends the LP right here, then this is going to be it. Missed. Okay, aim better. Okay. Please aim better. I guess it doesn't work. Oh wow, it does work. Cool. Alright, well, it explodes, but doesn't really explode in the way that I want it to. <laughs> this gun needs ammunition. Oh well, alright. I wanted to try that. Yeah, so the bomb doesn't explode to um, blow the entire country of Aruko to smithereens. I know that there's a, some game where there is an um, easter egg. Um, so-called uh, deactivate nuclear device which you could uh, activate and then if you activate it in a certain way then the bomb is explode yeah basically be the end of the uh, your adventure right there and then so i was uh, wondering whether i can do the same thing here for better or for worse but yeah i mean i guess i need to uh, end this lp in a more classical manner you know go to meduna and then do the whole um, dethrone the queen deal anyways yeah let's uh, all get these guys into one squad and then head toward the swamp it's gonna take three hours it's going to be morning by then and it's going to sap the energy for almost everybody especially um, for the the ones that do not have a lot of stamina I guess I'm thinking x-ray and X-ray and maybe buns might be very tired. But that's, I think, what I need to do to really make this a successful operation. Okay. And these guys are, um, yeah, I think I need to assign these guys to a different number. I guess I get this guy, um, squad number two, maybe, or three. And... Also this guy as well. Alas is also squad. Okay. Reaper, Ivan, Miguel, squad number four. Maybe I should just uh, fill this squad up. Uh, Miguel maybe? No, maybe Ivan. Miguel and Reaper is going to be a separate squad. Because Miguel himself is a leader, should be a leader of a separate group. But I think it's not going to happen un until the Hummer arrives. And the Hummer, uh, Hummer is actually, yeah, they have a few uh, open spots so that whatever they bring from Orta is going to be in here. But then if they can stop by Grom and then get some, some RPGs and some other stuff like 7.62 is going to be very good. And speaking of uh, items from Grom, I think I can also pick up some mortar, M224. This is going to allow us to maybe uh, do the artillery strike off screen. But as you can see, the condition of this mortar is not that great. So we have to see whether we can fix it. Yeah. All right. So let me see uh, who's a driver. I think Shank is a driver. I think some of this guy can sleep. Well, they're moving. Box is driving. Okay, so Shank can sleep. And Wahan is staying. And Hummer is driving to J3, which is right here. Yeah, I think they can just shorten the... Me, ready! Shorten it to H3. Yep. Let me check once again. Oh, no, they don't want to... Uh, let me just... If I do this, we'll do. directly there, right? 
I think so. Yeah. Alright, so uh, let's save once again. Let's check the other guys in different towns. So these guys are doing the staffing. He's just going to reveal the enemy movement. And also practicing. He's up to 73 in marksmanship. Grunty and Conrad about to begin their thing. I guess I can just make them finish this and then return them to sleep. And here, they're all practicing. Okay. Yes, it could be worthwhile. I think Madog is about to sleep. Here, Razor is doing the interrogation and there are a lot of guys from the last fight. And Mohan is uh, staying there to conduct some business with Tony and sneak into San Mona or Chitzena to build up the militia strength. And now these guys uh, can move down. Oh, enemy forces just invaded Chitzena mine and I think that's going to be nine guys, which is not good. Yeah, nine guys. Yeah, so I think Mohan should be going there very soon. I think we are at our limit. We have been whittled down, so to speak. And two green militia promoted, so that's good. And we don't have any guys in the south, so... Mahan maybe, uh... Yeah, Mahan should just travel here. I, go. I don't think I can delay the action longer. Assignment completed. Alright, so they're all good. And they cannot move toward... They cannot move toward... Let me just check. To auto, yeah. And these guys can now move toward Cambria and do the same thing. And Cambria does have militia, but yeah, they could use a couple more training sessions. Alright, so I don't know what's actually happening here. The tracking is back up, but not on the western side, so... Oh, it is actually back up. Yeah, so we know that there's 10 guys here, which is... Uh, going to be a handful, and it's going to be Swamp. And Swamp is really, really bad, actually. Uh, in terms of... Um, offense. Yeah, taking it back from the enemy who's been entrenching. At least we have Elio, who's a scout. Alright, so finally this guy sleeps. I almost already arrived. Okay. And now these guys can move. Reaper and Miguel. And Grunty is uh, he got his stamina back up. He just needs to get healed up. Maybe Vince doesn't have the medical bag or he does have everything, okay. Um, the surgery has not been done, I guess, because he's not back up to his original dexterity. I guess I um, opted out of surgery because I was afraid of uh, spending all the medical back before entering Meduna. All right. A lot of movement here. Me here. Um, me no know yeah. what to do. So I carry 64% um, mortar here in the Hummer. And anything else I can carry 7.62 times 39. Uh, maybe I already have it. Yeah. So it's a thousand seven hundred around eighteen hundred rounds. Yeah, so no worries there. And let me let me just check once again here. Toolkit. I guess it could be useful. I can always get rid of it if I need more space. Uh, yeah, and then I can probably install some of this stuff to save even more, save even more space. Radio set. 
Could be useful. Um, yeah, I think I may, may have to bring another radio set just in case. Because you have to order these from Bobby Ray's. And it's kind of rare. Alright, so let's head back. Head to the mine and then get some more stuff. And then we'll um, make a hidden tile. Okay, good. Yeah, so we have the ice cream truck here. So we go to the ice cream truck spot and we divide our guys once again. Like I'm all here now, man. One guy will yeah. drive the Sir? truck. Finally, these guys arrived and let me check the stamina. Uh, it's not too bad. Not too bad. Bonus lost most amount of stamina. And oh, X-ray didn't really suffer that much. Okay, great. Let's drop some stuff, and then there we can um, tinker with the detonators. So I think I should save here once again. The Orta is not defended at all. Now it is a free for the taking. Yeah, I mean it, it's not big loss right now because we took all the stuff out, but it allows enemy to surround us even further, which is not a good thing. So yeah, we have that's that. Let's drop all this stuff and the rocket thing too. And drop these. Still 107%. Alright, so let's reload. While we are at it. And 112%. Elio can drop the rocket. And what else? Chenek and I guess he can get the gas mask. Alright. Juan is in different sector. So let's go back to Igor. Yeah, Igor can drop all these. It's a pretty um pretty variable variable gun that can be sold for a good price. And I think let me just see. I forgot anything. Yeah, I don't think we forgot anything here. I think we are now all set for Larry to tinker with explosives. Alright. So, what can Larry do? He can combine these explosives, this RDX, C1, C4 with a detonator. So I think the C4 is the most powerful explosive there is. And he can... Let me... I just have to try this. Yeah, so it's now armed and ready. He can also combine RDX with C1 to create C4. Gosh darn! Okay, so it didn't work. Um, he can also create something called HMX. Maybe I should not say, maybe I should consider this to be... Well, I mean, it's just experimenting with crafting. And I wanted Larry to do it because he's an explosive um, expert. Apparently, the last recipe didn't really work out, unfortunately. So I guess I need to have a good TNT. Dynamite. Yeah, so he's happy about that. He creates something called H HMX. This is, uh, this is an item I've never seen before. Uh, maybe it sold at Bobby Ray's. It's pretty powerful and more stable than RDX, which is supposedly very unstable. And uh, I don't know how he survived all the, you know, Hummer ride and truck ride and everything. I can also install detonator here. And this TNT is already been uh, armed. Yeah, that's that. And the C4 is also armed. I can probably carry this. And C1, uh, it really didn't work out before, but let me just try this once again. I wonder if this needs to be converted to something else before. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't really try it. Oh, it did work. Okay, so everything is now set. Haven't really used the alternator before, but I think it would be self-explanatory. You just need to right-click on it and then set time, then drop it. And wait for it to go boom and either benefit or suffer the consequences 
So I give this to Igor and I think this can be left here. Yeah, so that's what I wanted to do. And these guys now looks like they didn't lose a lot of stamina. So maybe if they can uh, go down and have a look, it'd be nice. But I think it's going to be another three hour trip. Yeah. And then the Hummer is right behind them. So I guess we might as well wait. These guys, I think I just moved them down the road because, you know, it's the road. My voyage has come to an end for this trip anyway. Yeah, so these guys will now move once again. Uh, maybe I should just go all the way down there. Let's just go by one by one. I think every sector toward Meduna is progress. Okay. I don't intend to step back from the progress uh, from the road I've taken. I don't intend to go in a retreat or anything like that. It's going to be be all and all battle. Yeah. Okay, so let's get static renewed. Yeah, I think it's going to be 14,000. Okay, why not? Spider's on the team, and I like her style. And speaking cool. of... Didn't feel much like packing anyway. And speaking of Spider, she's going to be the next. Maybe in the next day. Hopefully she's uh, still up for it. Um, these guys are staying here. Right. And we have two medics. And we have medic here as well. Buns and Ira. So I think in terms of medic and medical supplies, I think we are good. And Fox is also a bit of medic. Alright, so this Hummer is coming to J3, which is uh, here, yeah. Okay, they need to move here, so we see to that. Actually, uh, did they pick up the ammo here? No, they didn't. Okay, damn it, they need to go back. Yep. Okay, my mistake. My bad. Me here. Uh, me no yeah, know to what to do. Pick up the ammo. I forgot about the ammo. Damn it. Forgive me for this oversight. Me here. Yeah. Uh, me no know what to do. All right. Um. Extended ear, maybe. I think everybody has extended ear, but you know, there's some things that could be improved. So I uh, bring one. There's some PSO. Oh, I forgot to bring PSO one with me. All right, that sucks. But I think there's PSO three somewhere around here. Um, so we also have a look. Yeah, I wanted to bring all this ammo. And do we have anything other? Um, no, not really. Talon maybe? I'm not so sure. Can it be installed here? Um, it's either Bipod or Talon. Maybe I should install Talon. Okay. Ping bag. Um, well, I mean, we are entering a Meduna anyways. Spectra Vest. Very useful. It's pretty good quality. So I bring two. Just in case. Spectre helmet can be sold here. Spectre I sell these as well. Taron pants, perfect condition. Yeah, I think you're good. RPG 27, one shot deal. I cannot stack them. We already have a lot of um, explosives. So we consider our RPG needs covered, more or less. Let's organize and we'll head now toward J3. Where these guys are. Okay. No, actually not. We're going to head here first. And let Shank take over the ice cream truck or Hamas. As you asked, I have reached new location. Alright. And um Hmm. You know what? I think I try to battle these guys at this road. Coastal road. Yeah, okay. I'm at the scene. Need a plan. Yeah. So let's do hard save. We are about to enter the battle. Going to have a quick look at their gear. And hopefully there's enough time to 
do some battle or you could go into next episode but uh yeah all right it seems like static needs uh needs some preparation we need to probably wait but i don't think it's going to be that long a wait ice um yeah ice is good i think oh yeah this guy needs ammo too 5.56 and just reload. Reaper is good. Ivan is good. He's bringing a lot of stuff. Miguel is good. Um, okay, he forgot to drop this, but I uh, might as well just use it. Maybe he already has his um, fingerprint imprinted, so I cannot sell them. Or I guess I can sell it, but others cannot use it. Carlos is good. Yeah, he's covered. Although he can give this to Raider. Yeah. And maybe Static. Oh, he uses different uh, ammo. Okay. 7.62, I guess. I Raider get another one. Yeah. Juan is in different sector. Carlos was the final guy. Right. So we wait until the ice cream truck arrives. One is about to arrive. Me here. Yeah. Um, you know, no, I okay. do. Okay. So, um. So, Fox or Hamas to either of these groups. Uh, this group is. Cannot travel right now in a single group on a Hummer. Only six is allowed. And if x rays is involved in jamming communication, I think six of them can go up against ten. I'm not so sure, but I guess I can try to invade while on Hummer. That means I think Hamas could be involved. Yeah, I think Hamas could bring better gun here. I think this is going to see much. I don't know about that. Maybe Hamas should go here and Fox should go here because we already have a lot of guys yeah. yeah, so Hamas is going to be driving the Hummer. Fox is going to drive ice cream truck with Shank, I guess. Yeah. Hamas is going to go down here and then supply the guys while Fox and Shank is going to come down here. Will do. Because I feel that these guys already well supplied more than these guys right so this is noon we gain some money i think and finally this guy is sleeping right so yeah so only two left from seven i bet we gained a lot of intelligence points Me here, um, right. me no know what to do. Okay, so the Hummer group is going to be Igor, Hamas, Ira. Let me see if any of these guys have... Okay, so Elio is able to be a scout. So Elio is going to be... Um... I think Elio can give the... Yeah, because there are only six guys available to the Hummer. So Ira should be back to her um, scouting. And I guess I can give this to Hummer or Elio or Hamas. Oh, Hamas actually can wear this and this at the same time, which is interesting. All right now, um, yeah, Elio is going to carry that. So Hamas, Igor, Ira, X-Ray, Larry, Iggy. Let me see. We have all these guys. So let me see if I can. Yeah, I need to. Sorry about that. I keep delaying this. The bonus has to be part of the Hummer because she's a medic and she's carrying some medical bag and maybe first aid kit. Hopefully. 
So she has first aid kit. And I think... Yeah, I think that's good. You can probably put this back in and stack it on... Stack in the Hummer. X-ray has to be there as well. Larry... Hmm. Okay, maybe I can... Yeah, Larry also on the Hummer. No, Hummer's full. This is going to be either Iggy or Larry. And who's going to be better? I think Iggy might be better. Yeah, so I just keep this as it is. Alright. And then head, head down and then see if we can make some headway. Yeah, Elio is going to carry some of these. Let me see if I can... The backpack... Oops. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Yeah, and then bring all this stuff. I think he's good for now. I'm going to wait. Check the weapons for these guys. Okay, 15. Yeah, she has enough. Igor has... Um, hmm. I guess Igor could use some more 7.62. I think for the next battle, he's going to have enough. I think Ira is going to be okay. Just need to combine these. X-ray is going to be okay. Hamas. Yeah. Iggy is going to be okay. Just need to drop some of this stuff. Yeah. I think he's going to drop all this. And get a bag instead. And I think... Elio had a bag that can be used. He uses 7.62, so maybe if the Hummer has the ammo for it. They have the ammo. 75 drums. There's a lot. As Igor can carry one. And also Iggy. That's good. Everything's all set. Let's get this guy's... Um, let me see if I can change some of these guys. Well, I mean, I can probably change before the battle. Yep. All right. Yeah, so these guys will go down and then have a fight. Oops. Oh. Really? Are you sure about this? How much can I travel here? That is weird. So he says he can travel only on the road. Wow. And this is swamp and this is also swamp. Apparently he cannot travel. I thought that this was off-road vehicle. Can't go into the forest, but... Not here. Can only travel along roads. Wow, that's surprising. But this was off-road vehicle. Oh, well, that kind of sucks. Right. Well, I guess I uh, need to um, come over here then. Roger. Yeah. And Larry and Elio. Um, hmm. You know what? I think I try to carry. Yeah, I think this is not going to work out. So I think I need to probably carry everything from this sector because um, obviously. Well, maybe if I can. Man, I don't know. Um, I think I need to. I need to make a decision here. Um, so when I come back, I have to decide whether to. Um, I'll take the swamp here or to go around and join these guys. 
yeah so next time up i think i'm going to do that i wanted to start a battle here but it's a bit too late i think in this episode to start a battle and i think it'd be better if i can just uh, think about this and then uh, start off the next episode starting off with the battle yeah i really see uh, whether getting all these guys walking and then uh, infiltrating this area is going to be beneficial compared to uh, going around and then teaming up these guys and then bringing like 20 guys into one sector yeah so uh, next up they're definitely going to battle i hope you can wait for it so once again thank you so much for watching and please stay tuned